welcome to another session of Kasi Talks, a platform where we, as Vula Vula Research Services, engages the community and consumer for all things that matter to them. On today's episode, we'll be touching on a career in fitness, science, and an integration of health awareness. Our guests in studio are Karabo and Spongi Sen. Guys, thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Who are you guys? You know, let's speak a little bit about the, the career men, the, the fitness fanatics. Who, who, who is Karabo and who is Spongi Sen? Um, I'm a scientist that okay. uh, took a bio where we analyze and detect uh, animal health diseases. My name is Fong mm -hmm. I'm an environmental officer mm -hmm. for the Department of Water and Sanitation. How did you both identify health and science as, as, as fields that would, you know, sort of gain you success in, in your right as individuals? You know, I've always been, like, active, mm -hmm. right? And then the career I chose was quite often uh, because weirdly enough my dad was a doctor my mom's a nurse mm. and then I went to environmental but if I had known what I had known today mm. yeah. I would have probably went against my parents wishes yeah and I probably would have started fitness from straight from after the beginning. from the beginning so what would you have done to be honest I probably wouldn't even gone the varsity way I would have gone straight to personal training is there a course for that? Yeah. A Technicon, something of the yeah. nature? So there's different ones. So like, the, like, I just started mine as well. I'm doing a personal trainer course through HFPA. Okay. So my career, yes, I love it. Yeah. Do you think but you'd leave your career? So once you're done with your with your qualification mm. with the HFPA, do you think you'd just not go back to doing environmental health and sanitation? It's, Would you? It's possible. It's possible. You're that true. I I see the vision. Yeah. It can happen. Yes. But. At the moment, mm -hmm. I'm still happy serving my country. Got it. You know, sure. I'm a public servant. Come on. I enjoy it. I love it. Okay. I was just, you know what, I just want to look good with my shirt off. But he, <laughs> he, he, so he you went doing in. it for the girls. You wanted the likes on let, Instagram, let, didn't you? So, so then uh, when I saw him um, going on stage and stuff and how he prepped his meals and and the correct supplementation he took, I then decided, you know what, I do have the potential mm -hmm. to actually uh, uh, better myself mm -hmm. and be that's serious. Good. That's good. So that's how we came about. That's how you also put your... your yeah, then I there. I just felt like, as my friend, yeah. like, you can't leave me behind. You just have to match up. So it's, it's just like a healthy competition we have. Oh, okay. So... Which actually brings it good. Yes. together, yeah. Do you, do you then, would you guys both then say that fitness is, is, a, is, a, is an adventure for you guys, is it a career? I mean, you are like doing bodybuilding stuff, like, mm. what does that take? Like, do you have to be part of a committee, an agency? <laughs> like, how do you just go from not being in the gym for a while to just bodybuilding? See, the thing is, I've always wanted to bodybuild. Since, oh. since a young child, my cousin used to do it. Okay. Right, so we were those kids, you know, putting the oil. At that time, we used to use oil. So you oh, used yeah, to oil them yeah. up, you know, <laughs> or prepare them for stage, mm -hmm. you know, and started training after my trick, mm -hmm. you know. Then went to varsity, and then I started, you know. And then just after varsity, I was just like, I was on and off, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then, funny enough, last year, June, mm -hmm. when I met up, that was the time I decided I'm never going to miss, I'm never going to have a gap okay. between me and training and I'm gonna go full out yeah all right full full out and then I got to a point that why am I strike why am I doing this mm, that's why important. am I putting myself through that's so important. much pressure yeah because guys it's not easy yeah. why am I putting myself putting my body through so much strain yeah for what yeah you know at that time I wasn't the time ah, for girls on the beach type thing you know mm -hmm. so I was like you know what let me take it to the next level mm. let me compete Luckily, when I was still back at home afterwards, my friend is a bodybuilder okay. who is now my coach. Julian. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So I said, I approached Julian last year. I said, Julian, I'm tired. Let's go. F let's go for it. Yeah. Started training me. I'm currently eating six to seven meals a day. I, I prep my own food. I have to go to the gym. I got a full time job. Mm. You know, so it's it, it's really it's it's taxing. To be honest, besides the fact that my coach says <laughs> must you eat, eat that much, um, it's it's purely because of what I need to achieve, right? Mm -hmm. I cannot be SA champ one day, which I want to be, if 
I do not eat. If I'm not providing my body with the correct nutrients, the right amount of calories, you know, if I'm not supplementing, I will not go forward. My body won't grow. Sure. So people don't understand that it's 80% nutrition yeah. and 20% exercise. Oh. So I went from eating wrong yeah. and training insane yeah. to eating right and training less. Karabu, mm-hmm. do you think fitness is, 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 a, is a business venture for you or is it, has it also become who you are? I mean, I have a background in biology. Mm-hmm. So I always uh, knew about the human body yeah. and how it works. Yeah, it's and all that all stuff. stuff yes yeah. so so i know the science of building mm-hmm. muscle last year i started running uh Marathon. co- marathons because yeah. um i just want to be a, a complete athlete not just oh, okay. a, a beast in the gym okay. but also i can do everything yeah. i can run i can swim really? and i can obviously go to the gym so with this opportunity um, I decided, you know what, I'm doing it part-time, mm. but um, I want to try somehow link my science to what we're doing uh, today. So, I just want you guys to walk us through that a little bit. How has it been over the years, now that we've spoken about your integration into fitness, health, and science, inter- integrating that with interpersonal relationships, how has that been? When you approach someone mm. Mm. about being healthy, you know, they say, ah, oh, but me, ah, I can't give up food. But now, guys, we must realize that the type of food, it's very taxing on our bodies. Yeah. There are some health. There's, there's health, mm. there's consequences mm. that p- people need to be aware of. Mm. Right? You know, so now you talk, we're living in a world where you're taught to love yourself. But then on the other hand, we've got your social media. It's very really tough mm. now to find a balance of loving yourself and peer pressure. Mm. Anyway, do you think that entrepreneurship is something you're born with? Is it a talent or is it something that you've learned? I've learned to use it with my pet. I love to work out. Mm-hmm. So I think it just makes it easier. I'm still learning. Mm. Right? I, I was literally like focused on, you know, because I'm, I'm a hands-on person. So with this, someone found me. Like, listen, hey, come give this a try. Mm. It took me out of my, my routine of uh, I'm at work, after work, in the gym. Now I'm exposed to a whole mm. variety of people. Mm. I've taken my fitness, right, and I'm, I'm broadening out. Mm. Although bodybuilding is my base, mm. but now I'm doing boot camps. Oh, uh, yeah, you did that one in, in Durban, eh? Yeah, no, we were in uh, Escort. So this whole entrepreneurship has opened up so many other Avenues doors and you, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, so it's, 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 it's good. I'm enjoying it. This is, has always been my view. Mm. Um, we are taught to be workers. Mm-hmm. You are taught to work for someone. Mm. Like, uh, even in university, uh, I remember one lecturer like, told us we should arrive like, early because mm. your employer like, expects you to be at this time. So if we're late, like, you, you, she wouldn't open for us. Mm. You basically lost your pay, something like that. Really? So I just feel like in school, we need to like teach them young, know how to like account for your own things yeah. and like broaden your thinking, not yeah. just, okay, I'm gonna go to school, after school, I'm gonna work for someone and yeah. be in like a, a structured place. Yeah. I, I, that's been my view since day one. We, we get st- stuck in middle class and we think we've made it, mm-hmm. but there's like, another class we can achieve because because look now um just how life is now you can't just depend on one salary Mm. you have to have multiple incomes whether if it's you investing but like you're investing in someone else's business or you can invest in your own business and have multiple incomes coming when you want and then have something on the side because just one one salary it's not gonna it's, it's gonna like stretch you for like what <laughs> two weeks yeah. mm-hmm. a week and then my view is a bit different mm-hmm. i think yes mm-hmm. to teach us you know obviously mm-hmm. certain fundamentals of life especially finance especially yeah. finance mm-hmm. you know so in that perspective i say yes mm-hmm. right. but at the end of the day guys not all of us are cut up for it, are cut up mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. number one 
you know, even if you are an, an entrepreneur, guys, you must remember that you need workers. There's certain businesses that just you need workers. Yeah. Admin, finance, mm-hmm. support, mm-hmm. back finance, office, stuff, mm-hmm. stuff like marketing, all yeah. of that. So I don't completely like um, shut out the whole idea of of like studying and all that stuff. But I mean, I think there's certain things that like entrepreneurship that should be taught. I, I for one, if I were taught entrepreneurial skills, it's more like like from a young age, from a young age, yeah, I think I would have been far. Mm, I think mm. I think it'll be fine. Like, you know, there's certain things we learned in school that, for me now, it's just I don't use it. Mm. You know, why couldn't you teach me like the basic? Mm. What are some of the the beliefs you live by in 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 teaching people health awareness, a healthy lifestyle, and fitness? Mine is definitely consistency. Mm. You have to be consistent. Like mm. that that helps you by not giving up um like i said there are days i don't want to work out mm. but i have to be consistent Mm. i have to keep showing people like in order to achieve a goal you have to be consistent Mm. so that's definitely my number one Mm. and also self-discipline my biggest i I don't know whether to call it a belief or the way i just but like i really think that we need to support each other. I feel like our own, it's not even a matter of race or whatnot, but I think we Just need as, to so, as yeah, people. As people, we mm. really need to start supporting each other. Mm. Like, mm. We must stop trying to bring each other down. Mm. I mustn't, and when I found this opportunity, mm. I could have just kept it to myself. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I knew, as soon as I heard about this, I thought about it. Up. And so guys, I want us to talk a little bit about how you're going about marketing yourselves, marketing your business and how you're going to, that extra reach we're talking about, mm-hmm. how are you guys going to get there? Okay, well, our number one marketing strategy mm. is, this. so we need to practice what we preach. Mm. Right? We need to be on the products, mm. we need to be living a healthy lifestyle, we need to be active. Right? So, because we can't be preaching all this stuff and we... And you're not doing it at all. Or well, you don't look it anyway. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, obviously, now, these products, right, we can use them for weight gain, weight loss, mm. weight management. Mm. Right? So, they cater for everyone. Mm. So, the avenue that we ourselves go into, that's, that's our number one market. Mm. And then we use, like, Instagram and WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. So, WhatsApp is for my center of influence mm. so obviously i've got your number obviously mm. i influence you somehow because mm. right? we're a team um he's shown me how he he does it because he started first mm. so um i'm also on like instagram whatsapp i talk to people now I'm, i can't wear the badge even at work mm. even though i'm part-time but i have to show people like the brand i use the products in front of my colleagues mm. Even at home, when I go home, mm. um, my aunts and uncles, they see me with the, the shake, the tea, Eesh. the badge. Just, mm. just so like, just um, yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So throughout our conversation, we keep talking about the products, the products, and now mm. we've, 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 we've name dropped and mm. it's Herbalife. There's so many ways to play around with, with these products, with these products yeah. to get um, like optimum um, results, yeah. amazing results. Yeah. Because like we we have our Herbalife trainings and stuff, and okay. people come to, and the testimonies really? that people have. Yeah. Is insane. That's insane. That then brings me to my next question. Mm. What is your favorite success story? Both of you haven't done this. A testimony is so, someone coming forward who you've worked with or are still working with. One of mm. your favorite success stories. I've got. Current clients who just started with me ever since I started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he's happy now. I found him in our gym back in Brits. Mm-hmm. He's been training for two years. He hasn't been seeing the results he wants to see. Mm. He's not, he hasn't been happy. Mm. I literally don't have to say another word. Mm. He's so happy that he just tells me every day, I do not want anything else but Herbalife. Your favorite success story? Has to be my mother. I mean, uh, 
She was on a lot of products. Yeah. So now I, I put her on the Formula One as well as the PDM. Mm -hmm. And then she likes them both. So she mixes, so she mixes them both. Okay. And then also the tea, she, her energy levels are high. She used to like drinking a lot of coffee. Okay. And then uh, I was like, you know what? Why don't we just, I also take the, the tea. So by her taking up those two shakes, she's gained muscle. Mm -hmm. She's actually turning but is she 60. Working out? Yes. Oh. Um, she's turning 60 uh, next year, mm -hmm. but she looks like a 45 year old. Mm -hmm. so. Do you consider mm -hmm. having clients every day as a mentorship, as opposed to seeing them as clients? Do you see them as mentors or mentees? Well, within Herbalife, mm -hmm. right, I, I am his mentor, mm. right? But I don't see him again. We're all a team. Mm. We all need to progress together. Yes. Right, on this journey because it's, it's a journey mm. yeah, as much as it's a business or it, it's a journey mm. it's a journey for all of us we all got goals we want to attain absolutely you know i know i do train a lot of people like physical train i have my own group uh, he was part of my group before he blossomed into yeah the before man. he put the pedal uh, before he, yeah. he 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 was part of my my group um mm. i'm still leading a group uh, in, in the hearties gym he's in the brits gym okay. what does the future look like Basically, I just want to be a SA champ one day. Come on. That I want to compete on the South African stage mm. and then from there represent South Africa. Internationally. International, at world champs. So that is my. So if it means I have to get way bigger than this, then I'm Who's fully in. 100. Okay. That's that's too much. <laughs> that, that's, I mean, <laughs> I hate. <laughs> that's too much. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. I also wanna find a link between this and and science. Mm. So you have like biology heads like me, mm. and like fitness heads like. Sport, and yeah. we come together and find a way to actually better the world. Okay. That's that's what I I, I really wanna mm -hmm. wanna dwell into is finding that link. So do you wanna take some of that into communities? Right? That you know, school, exactly shops, exactly that kind of not just people saying oh it's just for white people and oh, you know what I mean. Break the fall just fall just fall. just yeah. break that. That's that's what I wanna wanna focus on. Where can we find you on social media? You said you're very, very busy on Instagram. and So where can we yeah. find Smooth and Senior on social media? So my Instagram handle mm -hmm. is at the Cybo. So it's D-E underscore Cybo, S-Y-B-O. Okay. And then on Facebook, I'm Sibongi Seni Duandwe. Duandwe. Yes. Okay. Where can we find Same you? Same thing, Facebook, Carabos mm -hmm. uh, You have to spell that. Oh, wow. Okay. The last name. S E T L H A P E L O, okay. um, and then my Instagram handle is K Slapelo S E T L H A P L O no underscore. underscore. Um, thank you so much, guys, for coming. Thank and you. Don't yeah, stop. Thanks. Thanks for having us. That's it for today. That was another episode or another session rather of Kasi Talks. Join us again next week. My name is Sianda Wagamavoso. We are Vula Vula Research Services, and we're signing out. Mm -hmm.